I would like to point out a couple of different ways to tell you have a bad capacitor. These are common values for capacitors and LCD screens, flat panel TVs, plasma, LEDs, 2200 microfarad, 25 volt. The capacitor on your left is bad. The one on your right, it's good. Can you guess why the one on the bad is, and the one on the left is bad? If the brownness on the top of it didn't give it away, the top of the metal itself is swelled up versus the one that's flat. The one that's swelled up spewed out some of its guts. That's one telltale sign that you can use. Another way is at the bottom of your capacitor. If you get a lot of corrosion around the bottom of your capacitor and green stuff, take the capacitor out of circuit and check the bottom. And if it's got a bunch of goop and stuff on the bottom, much like what's on the top here, you got a bad capacitor. Be sure to clean up all the area that this thing is leaked out for, otherwise they're just going to continue to corrode your board. Another way to check on this is, is using the, the ohm scale and your voltmeter. Normally if you start out at 200k or 20k, you can watch this, change the ohmage, and it depends on the direction of where you have your red leads on the negative or positive of the capacitor. You can actually see the ohmage rise and lower, like it's charging and discharging the capacitor. A third way to do is take your capacitor that you have and use a capacitor meter just like this that I bought online for 15 bucks. As a kit, you put it together and it has a digital readout. And it can tell you that this thing is 276 microfarad. A good one would read 2 point whatever. I'll show you what I mean. It's calibrated and it has to clean up all the excess information that is stored. You have to make sure your lead's on there good, otherwise it's not going to read right. Two point one three microfarads, which that's, that point is a comma, so that's two thousand uh, fifty microfarads. That's what it's reading. So that's a good capacitor. You can have a little tolerance with these, much like resistors. That's a good brand there, Nichion, Nichion, however you say it. Just don't ever buy Cap Xon. They will do this for your TVs. And then you'll have your TV and it's not working. These are the capacitors that they put in in most of the TVs today. So you're getting crap quality capacitors at a cheap price. And this is what happens. So, that's going to be it for today. I uh, hope you learned something about capacitors. The good versus the bad. And the ugly. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. We'll learn something about resistors.